In this video, we'll automate the task of playing mini golf. Here's the basic strategy. We have a start point and a goal. At each time step, we create hundreds of balls and slam them with a random power and angle. The balls bounce around until they stop, then we choose the ones closest to the hole as the starting point for the next shot. We keep doing this until one of our shots goes in. This strategy is commonly used in robotics for motion planning and controlling robotic arms. The technique is called Randomly Exploring Rapid Trees, or RRT for short. Imagine we want to move a robot from point A to point B, and we have a map of the area. Starting at A, the blue dot, we create some random branches. At each step, the tree grows more branches until it fills up the space. Then we can find the branches with the shortest distance to our goal. The robot then follows this path to reach its target. It's not perfect, but it tends to find a decent path pretty quickly. Back to mini-golf. We want to use a measure of distance, but we can't just use a simple straight line to the target. That's because on some of our maps, we have a wall between the starting point and the end point. If we just selected using the naive method, the balls would stick to the wall and never move around. I guess you could say, it's balls to the wall. What we'll do instead is start at the goal and give it a value of 0. Next, we look at the adjacent spaces and give them a value 1 greater. We keep doing this until we fill the entire space, and in the end it looks like an attractive field, which pulls us towards the goal. This is what it looks like on a bigger map. The goal is that lone red square in the green area. Green spaces are closer to the goal, and red is farther from it. If we start in the lower left area, it's better to shoot for the right than the top, whereas if we start in the top left area, we're indifferent between going down or right. Here's another map. The field gives us a gradient that we can follow to keep pushing us forward through the maze. Alright, strategy time is over. Time for the actual game. I learned my lesson from last time, so instead of trying to hack an existing game, I'll make the graphics and engine myself. I'm not an artist, so I'll make use of what is known as programmer art. Basically flat, featureless rectangles and circles. As the saying goes, flat is justice. Alright, here's our map. It looks solid enough. We fire off a ball, uh, I mean, quarter of a ball and it just breaks out. We still don't have collision checks, so I go back and do that. The balls are now actual circles, so that helps with their rolling motion, but demonic possession was an unintended consequence. I went back, upgraded the graphics, made them look more like grass and, uh, wood? Dirt? Not really sure what the wall is made of. Oh yeah, and the physics is fixed as well. And to make sure we actually solve the teleporting problem, we let 100 balls bounce around this tiny prison. Nothing leaks out, so I'm happy with that. We got the strategy, we got the game, and I made around 10 maps to test on, so now it's time to watch this baby go.
This thing is a golfing machine. I was surprised that it could solve the maps faster than I could make them. It might even give Tiger Woods a run for his money. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched the previous video, you can do that. And if you've got a suggestion for a future video, drop a comment.